from Cheap Homesteading, and today we are going to be doing a bit of an unboxing. I've been uh, trying to get all my stuff ready for my Massey 35 rebuild, and one of the big things I need to do is rebuild the head. So I need to grind the seats, install the valves, the springs, all kinds of stuff like that. But it's been very hard to find a machine shop, and so it's become very obvious that you need to do more stuff in-house. So I looked on Amazon and I thought, is there anything that's reasonably priced that I can actually grind my um, valve seats so I can do a really good job of the head, but I can do it in-house. And I found this valve cutter system. And um, I looked online and I saw a few people on YouTube using it. And I thought, that's a great idea. It's basically carbide cutters, different angles, and you can just turn it by hand and you cut the new uh, valve seats. So I think, Man, if that works, um, I'll be able to have it in-house and we can rebuild a few heads because I got two of these engine rebuilds in the next year, my Massey 50 and this 35. So uh, that can get pricey if you're trying to get it to a machine shop or something. So I think this is going to be a good investment. Um, and if it turns out horribly wrong, this thing doesn't do a good job. I have a friend that has a, a stone type valve grinding uh, kit, so we'll end up doing that if we have to. But I thought, let's try this. I won't be able to try it today uh, because I don't have all the rest of the stuff in my head. But I, uh, it came in, I was kind of excited about it. I thought, I'm going to open it up with you guys. So let's go. So it comes from India, where all good machinist tools come from. Let's see. Omex uh, valve seat cutting tool. Let's see. Look at that. Let's take these out of the bag. These are the cutters. They come with uh, two different uh, angles for each size. That is really, really cool. Let's get them all out. So the back looks like it's got the flat must be for the seat. And here is the actual uh, angled one. They said they come with 20 degree and 45. It'll be handy for even small engines, I think. 45C, you got, uh, so you got like uh, the 45 and the flat. You know, like it's definitely not an expensive tool. We'll have to see how it does when it starts cutting um, actual seats. But to have an actual, this isn't rust, this is actually just uh, oil. So right here, this is your uh, mandrels, your uh, piece to fit the inside of your valve guides. And they come with three different sizes. Oh, actually, it's two different sizes. I'm hoping that it's the right size, because if it isn't... <laughs> so there you go. So that goes in there. And then whatever... So what the cutter does is cut the angle of your uh, valve seat. So you see on your valve, it's got the angle cut onto the edge of the valve, so that makes a seal. And um, that is gonna clean up that part of my valve seat. So I think that's gonna work really good. 
So that's what it looks like. You've got your valve seat grinder and you got your uh, piece that goes through your valve guide and it's got a handle. I thought it was gonna come with three different mandrel sizes. Um, and then my next problem was I thought, is this gonna match up the size of valve I have? So I pulled this out of the piston. Uh, I got beat up a bit, but it should give us a, uh, a uh, good measurement. I don't have my glasses, so I can't actually tell you the size. But that is really, really close. So at least my engine, the Z134 motor, uh, this kit will match up with my uh, mandrel size that'll fit in your valve and guide. I think this thing's gonna work good and it looks reasonably well built. So uh, the biggest thing is I like the fact that I can do these things in-house um, because it's becoming harder and harder and uh, everything is becoming so, so expensive. Uh, I wanna do things in-house, but I wanna do them good and well. So if I can't get a good uh, surface on my valve, I'm gonna do something. I'm either gonna bore my friend's grinder. I, you know, I don't know how good a quality these things are, but I have to say that it is pretty amazing. Even if I get at least the two engines use out of doing the heads, it's well paid for itself. Uh, for $69, getting your valve seats cut and uh, cleaned up and ready is going to be like way, way cheaper than sending it out anywhere. So, and possibly I'll be able to do two engines with it. So I think it's going to work out good. You know, I don't know what the quality of these things. Soon we're going to find out when we actually start rebuilding the engine. Um, but it is kind of cool what you can get for uh, $69. Um you know, these things have become more and more uh, affordable. I, I looked and there was an old motorcycle valve seat uh, cutter kit. Uh, so they, this is not a new idea. They've had them for years. Um, but I, I like probably from the 50s. And I thought, man, oh man. I tried to find some on Marketplace. I couldn't find it. Uh, but this is basically the same idea, the same premise of how it works. So... Uh, I think this is going to uh, work really, really good. And it's a good way of keeping everything in house. So, uh, you know, these day and age, you really do need to be able to uh, keep st more and more stuff in house because the more stuff you have to take out, the more money just gets bled out of your family for sure. So I'm going to keep you guys updated. And uh, hopefully in the next little bit, most of my rebuild stuff will come in and uh, we can start on the engine. So that's about enough for today. You guys have a good one.